walking. So if we encounter the same, we should know how to fix it. This tutorial is intended for walk technician as well as certain individuals who understand the situation. sounds it the compressor must be running this load must be running now so this is neutral and terminal number five is for compressor one okay let's, let's check it Terminal number five is under here. One. Okay. Here is it. Here is it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's take my test pan doesn't light. So music now is coming out. Let's kind of find out what seems to be the problem, guys. Okay. I'm gonna open this one. And let's check the voltage on it. And I set it to DC. Auto. And I'm going to check this output relay. This is terminal number one, two, three, four, five. So this is the relay of the compressor. So let's check it, guys. Uh, a little bit caution because it's power on and do not touch the. Okay. Remember guys, this is a 220 output. Although the control supply is only 12 volts, but, but the output is 220 volts. Okay, here is it guys. So here's the relay for the defrost and line and a second relay for the fan motor and this is the third relay. Okay. So this is the holding coil. This is coil. Okay. I should be reading there must be a reading of 13 volts high so let's gonna find out okay here and there I got a reading of 18 18 volts okay so it has power and the problem is my load, this load, supposed to be a compressor, is not running. So, okay, let's use test pen. And this is the 220, okay, from here it has volts, voltage and this must be the normally close 
and normally open so no bolts to the normally close and no bolts also to the normally open so this contact must be like that there must be a light here and it goes right there contacts here but the problem is it doesn't have so take a look for this okay and this is for the line and let's take a look okay test band light and here test band light also so it contact here so here there must be no light okay there is it okay so line is connected to the normally close and to the normally open this and this and okay perfect Right now, because I have any spare, so I can get one of this relay and install to this relay in order to fix this issue. Okay, so I'm going to flip this one like that and I'm going to replace. Okay, this is the same. Dixel XR460C and I'm going to power it off and I'm going to pull this relay and install it here okay while heating up this iron soldering iron let's gonna check is really if it is still okay so this is the coil up and let's see if there is a continuity there is it and this terminal and this is the normally close so there must be a reading guys Okay, there is it. And this terminal, and here, there must be no reading. Because it is normally open. Okay, good. So, we're going to borrow this one because as I've said keep on saying on my blog uh, finding this component is difficult to find here in my place so uh, let's borrow the one one and this is the replacement so, let's install it let's solder it back I'm going to install this Okay. 
neutral here neutral here and I'm going to put the line here terminal number five for the compressor number one and tighten okay. let's see it's working now hear the click sound okay see it's working out guys okay guys it's working so if you encounter the same Technician as well as certain individuals who understand 